Hello my beautiful travelers! It's summertime and a lot of us are starting to think about travel. If we're not thinking about traveling now while the kids are off school, then we are definitely starting to think about traveling when it's ah winter time, right? Not a bad idea to get those plans in place right now. Not to take away the fun and the anticipation of your trip, but just to bring to their forethoughts just thinking about your safety. You know what this channel is all about and that is getting you to think about those um, safety tips before you go on your trip and also during as well. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna cover off 10 of those. I'm gonna be bringing those up to you right after this. Olivia here and you are watching Health Before Travel, the channel that helps you to start thinking about your health and your safety before you take that trip. So if this is your first time seeing this channel, please consider subscribing because I am here every single week bringing you safety tips and also news and education and helping you to just understand all that there is to know about travel. The first thing you want to do is make a copy of any of your important documents. That will be your passport or any of your credit cards or any other important documents that you need while you are traveling. Make sure that you make a copy of those. You can scan them, email them to yourself, have them on your phone so that if they were to get stolen and or lost while you were away, you actually have a copy of it so that it makes it so much easier to trace, put a stop to it and actually follow up with that as well. The second thing that you'll want to do is to get yourself one of these RFID secure wallets. They have the blocking technology that prevents anybody from scanning your credit cards or any other information that um, actually has a digital code on it. And you can just put those in there and then when you close that up, it actually protects that information. Basically, if somebody has an NFC on their phone, uh, they have the capability of just walking by you and pick up that information, all the relevant information that they need to use your card. So by getting yourself one of these, or actually they have really nice ones now that look like actual wallets, and I will leave those in the description down below because um, you can get yourself one of these on Amazon. The third thing that you'll want to do as well is get yourself a money belt. So not a bad idea to either have a travel bag, something that you're carrying in the front, um, putting your money in your front pocket. I've even seen people put their uh, money in their shoes. These are all just different techniques of just making sure that your um, valuables are not accessible to just somebody just running by and just grabbing it. Another important thing to make sure that you have got covered is make sure you've got your travel insurance. We all know about travel insurance and just make sure that you do have coverage either through your group plan, either through your visa, or just buying it personally. Just make sure that you are covered before you leave home, okay? And the next thing that you also wanna make sure is that you have, wherever you're going to, make sure your vaccinations are up to date as well. Now, while you're away, it's just what we do. We take our phone out and we take pictures. We have our phone away from us like that. Please be aware of your surroundings when you're doing that because it's so easy for somebody to just grab that and go talking on your phone while you're walking. And again, you're not aware of your surroundings. And so again, very easy for somebody just to grab that. Another thing that we do too, is we want someone to take a picture of us. I mean, thank goodness for selfie sticks now, but hey, you know, don't give a stranger your phone because guess what? <laughs> they just might just beeline with it. And you know, um, once they disappear into the crowd, good luck you will probably never see that phone ever again. And considering that mostly all of us, our entire lives are on that phone, we just don't want to lose that at all. So keep your phone secure and safe to you. Back to the phone as well. Let us um, consider when we are doing Wi-Fi. It's great when you're away and you wanna get into those Wi-Fi cafes, but just remember that they are not secure lines. And so when you are going in and you are using your passwords to get into anything, everybody and anybody could have access to that. So you wanna be very cognizant of that. Maybe when you get back to your hotel room or whatever it is to change your passwords, just to make sure that nobody has accessed it. 
because if they have, you can put a stop to it long before it, be, it becomes a really big issue. Another thing while you're away is do not tell irrelevant people what your plans are while you're traveling. Like, you know, hey, I'm just gonna be going here today, tomorrow, this, I'm gonna be doing this or whatever your plans are. Don't tell people, just strangers, acquaintances, what your plans are, unless obviously you have a really good feel for that. But again, it always comes down to being totally aware of your surroundings and always being on, always just keeping that extra sixth sense around um, and that. And if there's a gut feeling, there's a reason it's called that and go with it. Doesn't matter, Doesn't even if you sound paranoid, doesn't matter. Better be paranoid than be safe than not. Now here's something that I had a personal experience with and you've heard about my personal own experience when it came to having an emergency number and having to go to a hospital. So when you are traveling, make sure that you know the emergency number for the country that you're in. Here in the North America, it is 911. But in some of the other countries out there, it is not 911. So therefore you need to know what their emergency number is in case you need it. Also, not a bad idea just to reference exactly where is the nearest medical facility. Especially if you already have a pre-existing condition, you'll want to make sure that you have somewhere where you know that if anything was to happen that it's going to be 10 minutes away, an hour away, whatever, so that you are prepared for that. Maybe even look up the hospital and just get a good idea as to what the facilities are there as well. Especially if you have kids, you definitely want to know where is the nearest clinic, hospital, any emergency setting. Also, get to know whether there is an ambulance service. Again, not every single country out there has an ambulance service. So you may have to rely on another way to get to the hospital or to get to any emergency department. So you might wanna research that just before you go away, okay? And have that handy. Once you've written that all out and you've got that, if you never need it, that's the plan here, is that you just don't. But if you do, you don't have to be in that state of panic. And my final safety tip for you is when you're away, do not take this opportunity to do any kind of dangerous activities and or um, sports or activities that you have not conditioned yourself for. It could be as something as simple as going for a hike that you have not conditioned yourself to do that. And so therefore, um, the uneven terrain, the hills that you have to climb, if you're not in the best possible shape, that could be pretty daunting to you and could actually ruin your trip. On the extreme side is those that decide that while they're on vacation, this is a great opportunity to do kind of just stupid stunts. And as an example, here we are at St. Martin Airport, which is extremely close to the beach. It's one of the dangerous airports noted throughout the world for its um, proximity to people and how low the plane goes when it is landing and when it is taking off. A lot of people have been injured in those circumstances. And why? Because a lot of them are thrill seekers. They want to get that up close shot. And um, there is a natural thing where they grab onto the fence and the thrust from the jets as they're um, taking off actually pushes them back. And if you can hold on, great but some people can't. And if you don't and you get thrown back, you're going to be thrown into the road, just like this young lady did. This just happened this Wednesday. A young lady who was holding onto the fence got thrown back and, well, she lost her life that day. It is not the way that you want to end your vacation and it is just not necessary. There are a lot of people who take shots from a distance and they still get the same effect. I'm just giving you one of the most extremes. Another one is people who do what's called balcony and that is where you jump off a balcony into the pool. Dumb, just plain dumb. Anyways, <laughs> um, on that note, I just wanted to bring that to your attention just because we are here on this channel all about making sure that you travel safe and I wanna bring those safety tips to you so that when you are um, going on your trips, you are thinking about actually coming back. If you have any comments, 
questions or suggestions that you want to offer to this channel, please go ahead and list those down in the comments down below. This is a great way for us to start dialoguing and start sharing that information out there. Don't forget, if you have a question, maybe someone else does. If you have a suggestion, then somebody else can pick up on that, myself included, and we can all learn from each other. I'm really thrilled that I was able to bring this information to you because my whole goal about this channel is to make sure that you your trip is safe and you think about your health always before you take that trip out there. I will be here again next week and until then have yourself a fantastic week and stay safe.